conflict of um, protecting uh, lobbying is the key thing. I think another thing as well about lobbying is that like, I don't think it's much information given to students. Like, I would agree to get all the students lobbying. I think it's great to have the students union and like, to members lobbying, but like, we could be utilizing so many of the students um, by the very much of them how to lobby. And um, because the bigger the voice, the stronger the reaction. I think that's me. Yeah, I just love it. I mean, I feel like when you get to elections, lobbying becomes such a big sweat because everyone just kind of throws out that lobbying. But with student assistance, key improved this year that lobbying and not not letting go and not pulling away from it works because key got some of that money back and he increased the student assistance from what we were initially given. So it's a case of just constantly making sure you represent students here and you're constantly. You know, pushing that we need that more money that we can take these costs and what. I do very well and be great to see people involved and make the bigger movement. But the key thing this year that even just who my thoughts are pushing this out can really make a difference. And I was really similar to you, but at the same time, we've seen throughout the past 10 years about how to some extent that is effective, but also it's ineffective. Or it's ineffective. We saw three years ago how USA was a huge protest about the student fees. And then the fees increase. So some of that's direct impact. So what I like to do is I like to take control of the students take control. And um, we had in 2012 the student system fund that out. I'd like to see consumer union as a huge budget. We run towards it and we get some kind of businesses throughout the UCC or throughout the park and like the students say that all of the shops would be towards it. Um, I suppose two candidates within the, the within their manifestos outlined the idea of possibility of introducing a welfare crew. So, so Dennis, you are one of them, so we'll start with you. Do you feel students will be comfortable coming to someone who isn't the welfare officer to discuss issues such as a crisis pregnancy or health problems, financial problems? Before anyone gets to that level of group, they'll be totally embedded. I would like to get to say and to give the headset to the council talks about what they do and how it's happen to ensure that everyone there is the best person in there because you're right, you don't want to go to and be unsure or kind of, 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 of a trustworthy and a good system. So everyone there will be recruited and they will do the best. And we prefer to get people from the medical profession, the medical profession such as mental health, health nurses, and doctors, and people with psychology, who can see the background and can offer help. And how might we agree with you? I think my idea is slightly different in terms of the background group. My idea of the background group is to be so informed in the services and analysis on campus um, and to like, create a bigger welfare presence. I don't think even this year the ENS team, like, just from seeing where the ENS would be like, oh, the ENS is wearing on campus. Like something similar, even like public use of like, oh, there is a welfare group out the money and services and it kind of just registers with students more. But then in terms of all the stress with welfare ambassadors, it would be something like to reach into a class group. So again, we were saying, like, I think you can be more comfortable going up to someone in your class group. You feel comfortable around well than a stranger you've never met before, and just wasn't talking to them. I suppose, Katie, do you feel firstly this idea is feasible? Yeah, and if so, what form would you like to see it take? Yeah, I think I personally, I think I think when Dave Barry was actually had on the student welfare action group, and I was actually quite down for something I really enjoyed in the sense of massive campaigns of mental health people trying to be able to get involved at that level. Not being elected, but to be able to get involved in welfare or something like that. It would be something I'd love to have been elected. Um, you know, again, like, um, I'll get a group to get a group of people together who were quite like us and like the other students that wanted to work in it. I'm not sure why identity of you know of getting their experts involved in as that kind of welfare thing. I'm not sure why there's in the sense that we were funding the council services, so like I don't know how we would make that work. But if it means it happens, it'd be great to do my own that would be 